That thinking is futile. There's no purpose to it. It leads to nowhere. Let's talk about that. Wow. It's me, Mario. Talketh, abideth, the Lordeth. <laughs> I should do a King James version sometime. Yeah. Oh Good morning, beautiful people. It is Thursday day. And you're early. I know. That, the sun's not even up. So, futile thinking. Futile. It's futile. It means nothing. It goes nowhere. There's no end to it. It is goalless. Goalless. It has no goal. What kind of thinking is that? Well, <clears throat> it's futile. Right. It's a physical thinking. Physical land, physical battles, physical war, physical. You just put it in the blank there. Anything physical is futile. Like when we think of uh, wars and our enemies and the physical things of this earth of uh, getting maybe money or prestige or pride or just fill in the blank. We need to think of the spiritual side of things. If we're, if we're actually thinking like Jesus, we're thinking of the spiritual side. So when we hear of these wars and of these shootings and you know that happened yesterday and all kinds of other stuff, automatically we go to A, judging mode, B, you know, it's the gun's fault, or it's the guy's fault, or it's the family's fault, or it's society's fault, or we always go to the physical, very quickly. Or it's the land's fault, or somebody took this away, or apartheid, or just, you know, they're slaves, or taking over the land, whatever. We always go, even Christians, go to this idea of physical things. Stop that. Stop that now. Should have a squirt bottle. <laughs> that is futile thinking. We're supposed to pray for our enemies. We're supposed to love our enemies. We're supposed to pray for both sides of the situation. We're supposed to pray for the people who got hurt, the people who did not get hurt, the people who uh, are in that land, the, the children and women and men who are innocent. We're supposed to pray for, we're supposed to pray and love for other people. And yet we jump on the bandwagon and we divide and we split and we physically hurt people. And then when a Christian jumps on and says, you know, we should pray for Israel, Hamas, and Palestine all together because they're all wrong, because they're thinking physically, then we get chewed out by non-Christians and Christians alike. But we have to stop thinking that way. Look at, look at Ephesians. Let me, let me go to the scripture here. Ephesians. Now this I say and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do, in the futile of their minds, of the futility of their minds. Now, if you go through the whole New Testament and the futility of the minds of people who are, he even said this about the Jewish leadership, they were all about the physical. They were all about impressing people with their money and their prestige. And, you know, we worship on, the Gentiles said we worship on this mountain, but no, the Jews say we worship over here. And Jesus is like, you're not worshiping anywhere because uh, true worshipers of God are spiritual. And the woman at the well were like, uh, okay, give me this water so I don't have to thirst anymore. And she was still thinking physical. we got to get out of this physical mindset and say there is a spiritual world. There is God. He is above all and, 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 and awesome and powerful and wonderful. There's evil demons and, and the devil. And there's everybody else. And the Christians are supposed to be serving others. And if we just get in the mindset as Christians to be a spiritual outlook of things, then we would stop jumping on the bandwagon between one or two things, or politics, or money, or... <sighs> Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. So here's Paul saying, look, you've you got to stop thinking physical. Start thinking spiritual. So my encouragement for today is, think spiritual. What can I do spiritually to help this situation? On both sides. Our enemies, our friends, our family, the things in the news, the things of politics. We've really got to start thinking spiritually.
And what would Jesus do? I know, that whole 80s thing. What would Jesus do? I mean, that was a song, not in my voice. I know. I love you, Jesus. Love you, too. You have a great Thursday, and think spiritually. Love you, bye. Beautiful.